So, just a short video today. Um, the flusher on the toilet's broken. We are moving the back room into the attic eventually, so this is just a quick fix. But um, I've got the flusher you can see there uh, from Screw Fix, about £12. So, I'm going to fit that in our system just to get us away for now. Um, so, I'll fill them in and see how it goes. Oh, you can see on the old one it's snapped, so that's why we're having to change it. So quite lucky with this, the water stop tap there, half a turn, I'm going to give that half turn and just to make sure it's really not the water, I'm going to flush it, which is also great to get out. And that's, full, that's fully empty now, so now I need to split the, the cistern from sort of the toilet pan so that I can Put the new flusher in. There's just some butterfly bolts under here, so luckily that one's come off fairly easy. This one's turning. couple of screws in the top, that one's proper rusted off so we'll come to that in a minute. One. Right rusted off, but it has come out with some pliers, so that's good. Right, so that's loose. The only other thing I need to do is I'm going to disconnect the hose for the water. I just have to lift it up, so I'm going to disconnect it after the isolation valve. Got an adjustable pan span at the pair of grips. Just the excess water in the system, it's going down the toilet. You can see me alright in the video. It's just a nut on here, I need to loosen that off, possibly with this. which way that is because the bolt heads need to sit inside of there to push against the toilet system so just remember that that's just rust by the way <laughs> and there we are now in a couple of minutes like I say you can see that it's broke there this is the new one The new flusher itself, that's the bit that makes the flusher work. Overflow. Which you can adjust to the height of your system. Um, I 
Dial on the side, this is the partial flush adjustment. So if you want like less of a partial flush, you slide it up, the more you slide it down. It is quite difficult to oh, you move it across. And up. It is quite difficult to move, but it says in the uh, instructions it's designed like that so it doesn't move in service. So I'll leave it where it is for now in the middle and we'll go from there. The system, I've realised it's got two O-rings. What it's to do with is the size of the opening on the bottom of your system. So you've got this one that isn't got the rim round it, that hasn't got the rim round it. That's with the opening is uh, 50 mil, and this one with the rim round is for a larger opening, so 60 mil. So for the larger opening system, you're using that one with the rim round cap, so it sits nicely in there, obviously it's going the other way, but so you can see, so it sits nicely in there. If you have the smaller one, use that whole ring, because it'd be a smaller hole that'd be nicely tight up to it. Just while I remember as well, we're talking about the flush on the partial flush. You have got a full flush adjustment on the side as well. I'll leave it on full at the minute and again. Any issues that the just fit one fits. Sort of slide on the inside at either side, and then this doorknob fitting. I should have maybe bought a new one of these, but this is the old one, so we'll see how it goes. Fits on there like that, then it pushes against the uh, toilet. So that's hand tight at the minute. I'm just making sure it's all nicely square. It looks like it is. I think what I'll do before I um, fully tighten it up. I'll just sit it on and make sure the bolt's all nice. Yeah, so everything lines up there. So it all lines up, so what I'll do is I'm just going to nip it up slightly. So for the flush part, that's your flush, your main flush, your part flush, or vice versa, I'm not sure yet. And um, once it's in, that sort of pushes in there. I think you can probably, yeah, you can disconnect with that and reconnect it. So that would be sort of it. You know, you're working the mechanism to the main flush and the part flush and stuff. It's disconnected, just push it there. So.
and, and that screw one up to tighten it up. So I was just squaring it up, I thought I'd sort of square on that way, but you could have it sideways, whatever. Anyway, once you get it somewhere near, keep over the outside and tighten it up like that. Won't over tighten it. And there's a little lock nut. Oh. that work on that so I'm happy with that. So I'll just put it there so nothing gets damaged for now. So what I'm going to do now is go and grab a couple of screws to fix the cistern on with. Fix the cistern on and we'll try putting some water in it. So I've got some screws, got a couple of stainless ones. Just so that doesn't get damaged I'm going to disconnect it. I don't know if you can see there, but it's filling up with water. This is the overflow, so push it down so we'll see where it naturally fills up to, and then we'll sort the overflow out. So you can see underneath here. Yeah? I don't know how focused this camera is, but that's like a half turn, like a 90 degree isolation ball valve, and that's what's going up to the underneath of the system. So that's where I disconnected the water, but I isolated it there. If you can't isolate it there, you should have a main stop tap. Uh, usually in your kitchen or hallway or somewhere like that. If not, you'll have an external stop tab, but you need to isolate the water before you disconnect anything. Otherwise you'll get wet, obviously. Now the butterfly bolt. There, I found them. There, so that's a butterfly bolt that I was tightening up to fix the system. So it's nearly fallen out. That's full there. So, I mean, overflow wise. went somewhere like that it, it's well below well below the top water line so there's no way it's going to overflow and then we'll give it a go so flush your wise pressing a little button as you half flush press on the big button the big flush so it should be set up fairly self-explanatory and that's it Took about 20 minutes to fit. Uh, only real tools were a screwdriver to get the cistern off, adjustable spanners to disconnect the water, and to disconnect the cistern sort of mechanism itself. So you don't need a lot of tools. Like I say, I would guess anybody can do it now for an hour, an hour or so. Uh, like I say, the flusher itself, screw fix, about £12, a varying price, but uh, seems good that one. Thanks for watching.